Module 4, Flood Risk and Vulnerability Assessment in the Municipality of Pauai, Ilocos Norte, the use of Flood S web tool. One of the beneficial features of Flood S is enabling localized simulation of flood inundation and flood countermeasures to effectively mitigate floods in certain local communities. On this notion, the last module generally aims to provide a simulation in a local municipality for simulating flood inundation and alternative recommendations that the area may learn from to combat flood extremes. Specifically, this fourth module aims to 1. Introduce the importance of the city and municipality-based decision-making. 2. Discuss the struggles of the local community due to annual flooding. 3. Discuss beneficial simulation results from Flood S web tool. The municipality of Pauai in Ilocos region is in the province of Ilocos Norte in the northern Philippines, home to a population of over 25,000, according to the Department of Trade and Industry. Known for its rich agricultural land, Pauai produces rice, tobacco, garlic, sugarcane, and various fruits and vegetables due to its favorable weather conditions, dry season from December to May, while rainy season the rest of the year, with peak rainfall, can be observed from the month of July to September. The municipality is characterized as a tropical and maritime climate with a relatively high temperature of 27.3 degrees Celsius. High humidity varies from 71% to 85% and annual rainfall of 2,082.9 millimeters. The area benefits from fertile soil and abundant rainfall during the wet season. Hawaii is dotted with rice paddies and tobacco fields, which stretch for miles across the flat landscape. Farmers in the region can harvest multiple crops per year, thanks to the ideal growing conditions. The agricultural productivity has made Pauai an important source of food for the province and for the country. In addition to crops, Pauai is also known for its livestock, including pigs, chickens, cows, and carabao, or water buffalo. Small farms raise the animals, which provide meat, eggs, and manual labor. The mixture of crop and livestock agriculture makes the local economy diverse. The fishing industry also thrives in Pauai, which is on the western coast of Luzon Island. Fishermen catch milkfish, shrimp, crab, and other seafood, which they sell to markets across the Ilocos region. The abundance of food resources contributes to the cuisine and culture of Pauai. Tourism is a growing industry in Pauai, thanks to popular attractions like the historic Pauai Church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The church draws visitors from around the world to admire its unique earthquake Baroque architecture. Local handicrafts and delicacies also attract tourists. Overview of flooding in the municipality. The prosperity of Pauai faces challenges due to the municipality's vulnerability to flooding during typhoons and monsoons. The municipality is visited by an average of nine cyclones per year, according to MMSU. Situated on flat land near the coast, the town lacks natural drainage and protection from storm surges. Rivers often overflow, causing damage. Typhoon-induced flooding takes a major toll on the local economy. Farmers lose income when crops are destroyed due to excessive flooding. Fishermen are unable to go out during flash floods and storms. Businesses and public transportation shut down until the floodwaters recede. Repairing infrastructure damage also diverts limited public funds. In response, the local government has prioritized flood control projects like dredging rivers, constructing new drainage canals, and elevating roads. However, more investment is needed to fully protect Hawaii from future flood risks exacerbated by climate change. Landscape provides abundance, its flat, low-lying geography also renders it prone to natural hazards. Ongoing efforts in flood mitigation and adaptation will be the key to ensuring the continued socioeconomic growth of this important agricultural and tourism municipality. With proper planning, Hawaii can harness its natural riches while building resilience. UP NOAA also provides a map showing that the area has been greatly affected by floods, highly vulnerable especially to floods with a return period of 100 years. This shows that the municipalities, with the impact of climate change, may enhance the occurrence of extreme floods, which is those floods with a return period of 100 years. Thus, more areas will be affected, which may lead to highly damaging loss to the municipality's economy and worse, loss of lives. Flood S result and recommendation for the adaptation planning for the municipality. Flood S provides an innovative technology solution to better predict and prepare for flood events. Flood S provides a platform to simulate floods that could help reveal vulnerable areas. Flood S supplements existing flood models with higher resolutions. 
One project simulation set up a setting that assumes flood depth measurement locations have been installed in several areas in the densely populated areas with continuous rain. The project results show that rivers in the lower streams can go up to three meters on which several dense communities needed to be evacuated. With these advanced warnings of impending flood-prone areas from flood as, concerned officials can take action to mitigate damage and protect lives. It enables robust early warning systems for evacuation of residents when required. Nearly real-time flood monitoring from the recommended network of flood depth across the municipality feeds directly into warnings simulated by the flood as web tool. With the recently additional features included in the web tool, rainfall scenarios from locality provided by nearby automatic weather station by the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, the flood as web tool provides a useful insight of how floods spread in the municipality. A 120 mm per hour lasts for two days, simulated for three days. These valuable insights locate critical areas that can help alleviate casualties while taking into consideration adaptation planning for long-term resilience. Flood S also recently incorporates the surges from shoreline that could cost more damage to both life and property if the local leaders may not be aware of the impact. And the municipality of Hawaii is one of the vulnerable municipalities in the province when it comes to storm surge as it lies behind the South China Sea. The Flood S tool provides another valuable insight considering a 10-meter storm surge in the municipality. The simulation gives valuable information how vulnerable the community in the coastal area of a possible extreme flooding that could extend at the midstream of the municipality. Flood S maps can also assist in long-term adaptation planning in Hawaii. Identifying recurrent high flood zones allows strategic investments in drainage infrastructure, flood barriers, and elevation of structure. Policies can restrict construction in vulnerable areas. In the simulated results, agricultural areas have soaked up to three meters of flood water. This area is dangerous for human settlement and for agricultural production, on which alternative planning must be done. The flood mapping and predictive capabilities in Flood S empower the municipality with information to develop proactive flood management strategies. These can be integrated within existing typhoon preparedness programs in the community. On the other hand, another simulation also suggests the establishment and installation of discharge measuring equipment to timely understand the spatial and temporal spread of floodings to prevent casualties. The project suggests the installation of discharge in one bridge located in the main river canal. The equipment, with the help of Flood S tool, projects the level of water in the lower stream where there are populated communities, an informative graph showing the time with respect to depth. Moreover, with the delineation of affected residents downstream, Flood S allows to simulate the impact of countermeasures in the area. Establishing countermeasures can save lives and promote resiliency of the economic sector of the municipality. The Flood S provides foundational criteria and reasonable decision-making by simulating alternative approaches, protecting the lives of the identified community by constructing a detention pond in the point where flows have been suspended. This will allow the community to take time in evacuation. Consequently, the detention pond allows greater groundwater recharge, controls soil erosion, and helps in flood control in the selected area. With informative and strategic data-enabled technology providers, the municipality of Hawaii can build adaptive capacity across all sectors. Improved resilience from Flood S allows Hawaii to maintain its socioeconomic growth trajectory despite the ongoing threat of typhoon floods exacerbated by climate change. The comprehensive flood adaptation plan enabled by Flood S transforms Hawaii from reactive disaster response to proactive climate adaptation. Costs and losses are mitigated over the long term compared to repetitive rebuilding after each flood event. In summary, Flood S provides Hawaii with state-of-the-art technology tailored to its flooding challenges. The solution empowers data-driven adaptation for resilient economic development and a thriving community into the future.